Welcome back my fellow commenters to the wonderful island of paradise known as Tropico. We're going to be starting off the second mission called We Will Endure, which is held in the World War era. So there's going to be two world wars, hopefully we'll have a look at how all that works, but we've got to survive numerous invasions. Clearly there's going to be a bit of a military build up. With uh, this amount of uh, firepower that's in the background, it's kind of scary. But we're going to be leaving things on medium and occasional disasters so we don't get spammed too much. And I've learnt that uh, the game actually remembers your town from last time. So we're going to be playing on Kaja Fortuna now, which is what we played in episodes 3 and 4. So we'll get to see our city in exactly the same My position as last Topicans. time. Today, a new enemy rises to threaten my way of life, my freedom, and my strategic banana reserves. Without provocation, Ila Rojo has declared war on our great nation. Now is not the time for fear, Tropico. We will face this threat head on, and we will endure. We will defend our shores, and we will endure. Like our llamas, we shall spit in the eye of any enemy that treads on our soil. We will endure. Viva Tropico! Just in case you missed the uh, name of the mission, it's called We Will Endure. <laughs> but, uh, we've got our constitution to adopt. Uh, let's choose Armed Forces. Yes, click that. And um, Conscription. And I think I chose... I don't really know how... Like, there's no way to know that whether or not I accepted it. It's really confusing to me, but I'm just going to click that and hope for the best. Um, I really should probably learn how to use the constitution a lot better, but it seems like, well, I did click on the things that I wanted. It seems like it's doing what I want. Anyways, uh, what I've missed out last episode is a uh, fair bit of money, fair amount of money is, uh, well, we can have our own trade routes. Uh, so we don't have any active trade routes at the moment. So each trade offer has a limit, time limit and supplies or demands a given amount of resources. When the amount is met or the time limit expires, the offer will end. Remember, you need a free trade ship to initiate a trade route. So we have one trade route at the moment. You can send more than one ship on a trade offer to speed up delivery. Construct additional docks to expand your trade fleet. Now because we have one dock, we have one ship and we can choose to export either corn to the allies or the Axis powers because this is after all World War One. Uh, let's have a look at what we want. We've got a lot of iron, so this seems like the best bet. Exports a fair amount of iron. So it's 1800 so we get a $600 increase, I guess. Let's add the ship to that. And max quantity is 24,000 units or 10 years. We'll definitely get that in 10 years. No worries there. All right, now with this mission, because a military is going to be pretty important, build some barracks. Your radio host. Well, some oh, hello. Prophesize that world wars are coming. Not just one, but possibly two of them. I am here to assure you, my friends, that whatever happens, the Jolly Roger will always be here till the very end of time. Oh, we've got enemy forces invading our islands. I've got no idea how they came here. I guess they uh, swam, I guess, maybe across the, no, we'll just say they swam across, and wow, they are firebombing our farms, that is not good at all, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be able to stop them, uh, it seems like building is halted, and uh, what I'm going to have to do is, let's go uh, over here, dynasty or dynasty, uh, upgrades, here we go, get a personal death squad, Whoa. I don't know how these guys are going to win against this squad. Because look how many of them there are. There's no way we can... Yeah, <laughs> we are so dead. That is pretty intense. And there we go. We've all died. Uh, so we're going to lose this building. The plantation as well as the wharf. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I need to do to make this better. <laughs> it's quite a worry. Oh, right. The tree has been cut down with the logging camp. We've got quite the uh, amount of industries over here. We've got a fair few ranches. Exported some tropical 
goods. We have a perfect business opportunity. We can make a huge profit of the misfortune of others. I love this stuff. Veronica, I like you already. Both the Allies and the Axis are in dire need of supplies. Now, this means we can sell at a huge profit and they can't say no. Capitalism at its finest. Export 5,000 sugar. If you accept this task, the respective offer from the Allies will be cancelled. Now we have them right where we want them. Time for a little gouging. I really should see about getting myself a villainous laugh. I look forward to it. How much should we raise the price? All right, so we increase the Axis relations by plus 10. So I'd imagine that the Allies would have a dislike for that. So let's make them like us because they'd be all capitalists. And increase the price of sugar by 20%. How can we say no to that? Um, I do have a sugar plantation though, don't I? Oh god, buildings are falling. Uh, I don't have any sugar plantation. Oh yeah, I've got one. Okay. Uh, we haven't got that upgraded though. Uh, let's get this. Farms by... Okay, it increases the nearby plantations and hydroponic farms. Let's just do that because we've got more than enough money for all this. And build another sugar plantation there we go oh, over here seems like the perfect spot for it so there we go and we'll go road oh really I can't fit it in through here I can't fit a road in through there why not really I have to cut off across some of the plantation then which is unfortunate, but we'll do that. That sucks. You would have thought I should be able to build like straight through there. I'm not sure why it didn't let me. Nope. Oh well. That's life in the tropical world. Can't have everything going our way unless we uh, choose to kill the people that disagree with us. All right. So these guys are just going to go about destroying everything. They're heading for the mine now. Okay. That's not good. Let's just rebuild these buildings. What's happening over here? No one's coming up to build. I think maybe because we're at war, no one actually is building anything. Or because we have rebels. That might be the problem. I've got no idea how to fix that. Right, let's go speed things up. Maybe they'll give us a mission to stop these guys. Because at the moment, it's a free-for-all. And El Presidente has no defences. Quite sad, really. I'm assuming that the US or someone's going to come to our aid. Or maybe... I don't think they'd have a Hitler in this game, would they? No. No way. It wouldn't be allowed in Germany. And Germany's a pretty big country to sell games to. attacking your newly independent country. This ridiculous conflict is undesirable. Put an end to it as soon as possible. Ah, oh, there we go. So, the order enforced a temporary... This says temporarily, but though temporary ceasefire, but your enemies from Isla Rojo will attack again in full force the moment this ceasefire ends. I will do what I can to delay them while you prepare your defences. My new apprentice, Adriana Diaz, will assist you with this task. So I'm going to prepare for the invasion. The ceasefire will hold for eight years. Isla Rojo will invade after it expires. And then we win the mission during that time. So let's slow things down just a little. Check out this According mission. According to your newly appointed Chief of Staff, General Panultimo, there is no better way to improve the defender's morale than sticking some flags in high places. <laughs> I am somewhat skeptical about the morale effects, but some new guard towers will surely prove useful against the invading force. I'm sure that she knows a thing or two about sticking things up in high places. Oh yeah, I went there. All right. Uh, let's go military guard tower and uh, let's see I think the best bet would be placing him near my oh, well, yeah near like all of this stuff near the mines and all that there's no real well there is sort of an entrance there's a gate you don't really need to worry about where you place it it's two three four and five Alright, uh, so the reason I placed those guard towers 
near like mines and farms and all is because that's usually where the rebels come to attack. Uh, we need to go ahead and repair this rebuild. So there we go. Is there any way I can quickly rebuild? There we go. Okay. You're telling me you're not connected to a road. Are you kidding me? Oh, no way. It was okay up until... Okay. Uh, what I'll need to do is get rid of that. Cancel the construction. Yes, I want to get my money back. Everything was alright with you guys. Until a couple minutes ago. There we go. Now they can stop complaining. But they were connected up to roads. I guess that guard's house screwed them around. Come on, guys. Must be constructed over mining deposits. You are definitely constructed over a mining deposit because that's the only way we can build things in the game. Um, are our builders actually doing anything? I don't see anything being built at the moment. No one's really coming up to anything. All right, let's go... Uh, no, we'll keep that construction, but... Oh, damn, there's a bit of overlap. That's something that I missed. Here we go. Who are you? Please tell me you're a worker. Oh, the ally sent us $4,300. It seems like the workers are coming here. There we go. Still at 0%. Oh, that guy's just waving this. There's a fair few people around here. There we go. Finally. <laughs> I don't know why the scaffolding needs to be that large for a farm, but... Alright. That's okay with me. Now, we should be exporting. Here we go. Outputs. A lot of logs. A lot of iron as well. Although it's not here. Maybe it's in others. Not, we're not having all that much expected revenue yet as well which is quite interesting as to why that would be but finally you guys have built that sugar plantation I wonder if the game actually realizes that there's overlap here but this other plantation is sugar anyway so it's not really a problem um, all right what else do I need to do I need to build those guard towers we're exporting a fair amount of sugar so that's not really a problem Kiddokes. We're building that wharf so we can go ahead and get some more food for our people. Now, and you really need to start building those guard towers. Could probably get away with quick building him. Three. Uh, there was another one somewhere here. Here we go. I'll put that on high construction priority and I'll quick build this one. So we'll just have one to be built by hand. And there we go. Cash flow has increased. My books on psychology say I should offer you a reward so you'll start making smarter choices more often. <laughs> All right. Um, so that goes into our slush funds, the Swiss bank account. We get reduced building costs for all industry buildings in the next four years of five high school educated workers. Sounds pretty good. Also, are you serious? I was not researching anything right from the start. Well, that is quite silly, isn't it? Oh well. General Penultimo has had yet another plot to delay our enemies. His keen military intelligence has determined that we should get all of them drunk. <laughs> Frankly, I'm not sure why you keep this buffoon around. You're not going to, f to go forward with this ridiculous idea, are you? Export 5,000 rum and delay the invasion by 18 more months. How can I say no to that? Alright, so... Now we actually get into building up an industry. Industry goods. Industry luxury goods. Ah, oh, there we go. Rum distillery for 16,000. Let's build it close to here. There we go. Now, how's this guard tower coming along? There we go. There's people coming along, building it. Uh, surprisingly, our approval rating is pretty high. It's 
quite surprising. Also exporting a lot of uh, goods, which is great to see. And uh, we'll get a term extension for another 18 months. So we're doing really, really well, very well. All right, let's go about upgrading some things such as over here. The fiber fertilization, maybe upgrades the logging camp. The logging camp plants new trees over time, but the building's budget is doubled. Uh, it's probably okay. Well, we'll leave things as they are. How do you upgrade the dock? You can't really. Let's go with drift netting. Uh, so I see what they've done with this uh, upgrade system. It's very much like Omerta. That's what they've done. Because I remember these stars, you could upgrade certain buildings in Omerta as well. And uh, you'd upgrade them. And that was a pretty different game. It was very, very cool as well. Very addictive. Uh, we've got 25 new people, so that means we'll have to have a lot more houses. There we go. We're going to build tenements now. Provides housing for 12 families. Housing quality drops over time, though. So I guess there'll be slums pretty quickly and soon. Uh, let's see if we can just move this like that. There we go. They don't really need to be connected to roads though either these tenements at least they didn't need to in Tropico 4 so I'm assuming it'll be the same <laughs> it's like they're dancing it's like they're doing uh, some dance moves at a nightclub and these cranes with their arms about like crazy noobs uh, we've built the five guard towers so we've got an 18 month increase in the ceasefire so I'm hoping that when they invade We'll have a pretty large army. It seems like we're well on our way there, though. At job service. Maybe I'll need to build some education as well, like a high school. There we go. That's what I'll do. And where should we build that? Probably right up on over here. Next to the library. And I'll build some more tenements. Over here. There we go. Okay, everything goes on at the same time. A glorious invention, Presidente. Electricity. It's like organized lightning. There's no better way to put it. And you can make your own with a balloon and a little friction. Just like making fart noises. Power plant has been unlocked. Very nice. Although I don't really need the power plant just yet, I don't think. Let's just keep on exporting things. Check out how the trade's going. We've got no available ships. Yes. And, okay. So we've got 15,000 iron left until the contract expires. Pretty good stuff. So we're making a lot of money that way. Let's keep things up the way Mr. they are. President, the world has changed. We need to create a dystopian future where everything is bleak. <laughs> Words like that will be a real hit in the future. For that, we will need industry, preferably of the more polluting kind. Also, we would need more than one, as otherwise it would be impossible to form an evil corporation. Have two different industries on the island. Okay. So we've got one industry, which is the rum distillery, which we can actually have three upgrades for. Oh, done distill, definitely get that. 25% less raw resources. And then we'll go for, uh, with the industry, we'll go for weapons if we can. Ooh, electronics factories and all. Research the shiny technology. Okay, maybe it's in just goods. Let's see. Nope. Military? Maybe you can't create your own weapons anymore. That'd be different. Maybe we should just go with the lumber mill then. That's pretty interesting though. We can't do anything with the weapons. Well, there's no weapons that we can build anymore. That was pretty much my mainstay of making money in Tropico 4 though. <laughs> Quite disappointing. Uh, let's place that right next to the logging camp then. Actually on the other side, it would make more sense. There we go. Might need another Teamsters office, although we do have two. There's one over here. 
and so there's another one. I'm sure we've got two. I'm just gonna go with that we've got two because it doesn't seem like resources are packing on too much. We've got a couple there still. A couple here. It's not like we've got too much waiting about. Let's check out our mines. Uh, President, oh, hello. Tropicans await elections next year. They wish to show their everlasting love and respect for you. They may have used different words, but that does not matter. <laughs> what matters is that you have to decide whether to give them elections or not. Also, consider which member of your dynasty will run for Presidente. Preliminary polls show that 54% of the people will vote for you. Of course it's going to be me. The foreman. Uh, although it is a very close. Roberto Santiago. It is definitely very close. What the hell is this? Let's buy the protests. Oh, God. I don't like that Adriana lady, President. She is never nice to me. She calls me names like Baboon <laughs> and does not like my plans, even when they are bound to work. Ah, oh, Penultima, you have my sympathies. For example, I propose to use a fisherman fleet to lay mines in our waters, and she just laughed at me. We will do it, won't we, Presidente? Please. Let's uh, delay the ceasefire, or delete, delay the invasion, more rather. I'm building two more fisher wharves. Um, I need to make the people like us a lot more. Uh, I could get, get away with probably paying them. Um, control click. There we go. Pay them all that much more. I'm really hoping we don't lose this election, though. i got to bribe our people a bit more. Treasury being at an all-time low. Some analysts are saying they are unsure about our financial prospects at this point. El Presidente assured them that he will tell them what to think when the proper time comes. Okay. We definitely will be telling the people what to think. Uh, we need to build two more wharves. Okay. So, we need to go in raw resources. Wharf. Presidente, I hereby with to four require you. Uh, we've got constitutional options now. Every policeman convinces one voter to vote for you. Easy to immigrate and emigrate. A normal life expectancy. There we go. Happy childhood. Hopefully that makes a difference. Increase that road there. Put there. We've got elections in eight months. We've got a couple more different things. We'll go for the steel mill, delegation and alliance, and an army base as well. Wouldn't be surprised if we need to build an army base by the end of the mission, though. So we've got that election in a couple of months. Here we go. We've got 52% approval ratings at the moment. Okay, we're doing quite well with money as well. What I'll do is uh, let's rein in state, maybe not rein state, but in state some edicts, um, increase the food consumption and the food happiness of the citizens. Definitely go on for that. There is not enough bread in our bread and circuses. Most tropicans eat once a day. This makes them slim and athletic, but not very happy. Some extra rations would be more than welcome when we have the food to spare. Don't forget, fat and lazy people are less likely to revolt. It's a pretty wise strategy there, Penultimo. Why are we not building anything? Our builders are definitely getting quite lazy. This came off a little bit better. And here we go. The elections are starting to look very much in our favour. Oh, wow, we can even kill the guy opposing us. And it's a lady, no doubt, no less as well. Born in the land of the Commonwealth. Time to kill her, actually. And wow, we just made a lot of money. 30,000. Let's check out this Our mission. mentor Leon Kane taught me there is no such thing as excessive force when resolving a military conflict. A larger standing army with an emphasis on armoured vehicles will certainly shake the revolve of the invaders. Have two army bases. 
How did I know that? Well, no, I don't want that. I want. There we go. Do we have? Let's see. The army base thing available to us? Not yet. We will though soon. Um, I'd love to. Here we go. Finally, we're building things. We have an opportunity to influence the outcome of coming elections. No, no, I don't want election fraud. We've won this. I'd be close, but we've won it. It'd suck if we lost. Because these missions definitely take quite a long time to uh, complete. Which I actually like. It's, uh... The election results are in. Okay. Let me be the first to congratulate you, Residente. Ah, oh, thank you, Penultimo. It's great to hear that you probably were the one counting the votes as well. I'm glad to say that 37 Tropicans have given the correct answer and voted for you. Only 31 Tropicans have failed the elections by giving you the wrong answer and voting for your opponent. We need to really educate our citizens though, don't we? Maybe if we upgraded the budget for our high school and upgraded that, although we can't. Alright, we've got 5 out of 15 students. This time it doesn't show you who the students are though. But at least we can see the students and all, or how many there are. Can't really do too much to upgrade this. And we're just waiting a little while for them to build the wharves and the lumber mill. Okay, we go. It's built, and that's our Cash two industries. Has increased. My books on psychology say I should offer you a reward, so you'll start making smarter choices more often. <laughs> All right, I don't really want to import anything, so we'll go with the money Here into our slush fund. Data. Foreign diplomats are 45% more prone to agree with us if our diplomats fart less often, or if they at least stink less. As a part of a cross-group study, we also found that 33% of foreign diplomats do not like belching at the table. Finally, a staggering 95% have indicated that they have a very negative opinion of our diplomats singing the national anthem while standing on the top of the table naked. Who would have thought? Alright, Delegation and Alliance Foreign Actions Unlocked. Alright, so that doesn't really help us out much, uh, well, in terms of the mission, apart from uh, just giving us a new research option. Got tags in 13 months. And then we can go get, okay. Socialism, so the Cold War should be starting pretty soon. We'll go with uh, military skills, a dry dock. Tropican map is ah there we go. Tropican map is revealed once we get that as well. Go for socialism after that. Okay, that's pretty good. Because I really am not too much of a fan of the whole exploration system myself. Thankfully, it's only really at the start of the game that it matters and counts and all. So I like the shadows in the game. Maybe no, that's not really part of the shadows part. Oh, here we go. Oh god, we got workers on strike. Let's just buy the strikers. Give them a bit of money and pay them off because we've got way more than enough money, that's for certain. I guess all our industries are paying off. Let's check out the rum distillery. Lifetime profit, $25,000. That's pretty good. Now I don't really want to build anything. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe I could upgrade... Our mines effective is increased by 20 okay. and let's pay these guys more okay. the order has its contacts everywhere Presidente Leon Kane our mentor introduced me to some shady characters residing on Ilo Rojo that might just help our cause if we provide the right incentive, that is. It's not going to be too hard to provide the right incentive. Everyone's got a price after all. At least most people do. Those individuals offered to sabotage some of the enemy ships when the invasion commences for a price, of course. Pay $10,000. Hell yeah, I'm paying the $10,000 to weaken the invasion. We still need to build. How's our research doing? Okay. I need to get those two army bases. Got one fishing wharf. 
second one's coming along nicely. The war has the price of steel rising steadily. We should capitalize on that right now. Okay. Check out the steel mill then. Which is in industry goods and steel mill. There we go. Steel from iron and coal, but we need both. Alright. So we need to find a coal mine. Oh, we could start importing some. But I'm pretty sure we're going to unlock... Let's see. Let's get rid of that and get the dry dock first. Okay. So we'll get the dry dock after that. Um, and the whole map should be unlocked to us pretty soon. A new era of knowledge is upon us. Members of the royal family, famous politicians, notorious actors, everybody's got one. Pet project, that is. It is the latest fad for the super rich and powerful. You should assign a member of your dynasty to pet, to a pet project. All the chaps in my club are doing it. Of course, that person won't be able to attend to his or her official duties for a couple of years, but they aren't all that important anyways. Let's send our daughter off. She is our daughter, right? Not our wife. She's definitely our daughter. If I remember correctly. It's been a little while since I've actually played the first couple of episodes that I uploaded. But, hopefully, I am correct. Jeez, uh, we've got the so many missions. The communist revolution started in Russia. Unfortunately, it was a resounding success. Now they have no one to revolt against. <laughs> Let's pay for another revolution. That is why they are trying to export it and they are selling it cheap to brother nations like ours. Let's pay for the, the revolution. revolution is its own reward, but have a little something extra from its fruits. Um, let's get three thousand dollars in just slush funds. If only like we could get compound interest or something on our money in our slush fund. Because at the moment we're getting quite paltry sums. It costs two or oh, twenty thousand dollars. Sorry, I thought it cost two hundred thousand to level up. All right, let's level up. So global effectiveness of production buildings increased by six. Level up cost will decrease upon scenario completion. Ah, okay. Because it was 200,000 or so last time I checked. So now it's 150,000 and then it'll decrease once we've completed this scenario. I see. So you can't be too overpowered or whatever. That's cool. All right, let's exit that. Yeah, our production buildings are doing quite well. Presidente, we discovered the tank. It was left unlocked at a military exhibition. <laughs> we took it for a spin and for a while controlled most of Europe. We eventually ran out of fuel, but we managed to dismantle the tank and smuggle it back home. Now, we just have to figure out how to put it back together again. 